Hey everyone, my name is Daniel and in today's video, let's talk about what all to consider before blocking users from Microsoft 365 Copilot. Because I get it, your intention is not to permanently block the users. What you want to do is start deploying this in a controlled fashion. So first, you want to release it to a small group of people, test it over there for a while, then expand that number of people before you deploy it all across your company. I completely get it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the information that you need to know. Because when it comes to blocking, some things do get blocked, but some things do not. And you need to know what those two are. And as a bonus, I'll even show you how you should go and plan and actually do the blocking. So stick around because this video is very important for the decision makers, for the administrators, and even the end users who feel the effect. But first, here's my intro video. So the best way for me to explain this entire process is by examples. And in this case, I have two users. Both of them have the exact same license. However, one of them will be allowed to use the agents, but the other one we will block. And that will really solidify the message that I'm trying to give in this video. So let's take a look. The first user I want to take a look at is someone called Gabriel. And so here I'm in Mac, which is Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Uh, under users, I'm looking at active users. And here I'm going to go and search for Gabriel, all right, my everyday employee. Now, when I look at Gabriel specifically on the right under licenses, what I have over here is the Microsoft 365 E3 and also the Teams, all right? Just keep these two in mind, all right? Just that those two. Um, and keep in mind that I'm showing enterprise, but this also works for your business licenses. Exact same scenario. So over here is Gabriel. The other user I want to take a look at is Finn. So let's go and do a search over here for Finn, F-I-N-N, all right? And I hit enter, uh, click on it, go to the right for licenses and apps. And if I scroll down, you see the exact same licenses. So that's the one thing that I just want to solidify is both the users have the exact same licenses. However, Finn is the one who is going to be blocked. And I'll show you that in a minute. So this is important. This is the starting point of everything that I'm going to talk about next. Next, let me show you an agent that has been built in Copilot Studio. And I have shared that across both the users, Gabriel and Finn. So here you go. This is an agent that has been built and you've probably seen this on a few of my other videos. When I go to channels and specifically pick the team plus Microsoft 365 channel. Uh, and when I come over here, uh, see in the availability options in the show to my teammates and shared users, I have shared that with both Finn and Gabriel Christian. All right. So this is from the Copilot Studio side. The agent has been shared. Now let's actually go in and take a look at it from both the user standpoint. So the first user I want to take a look at is Gabriel. Now, when Gabriel comes to his Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, he sees a couple of things. First of all, on the top right, the user has the ability to go in and create an agent. In fact, this career coach, that's an agent that the user actually built. Second is the agent that I just showed you. Gabriel is able to access it. And I can show you that too. When I come back to that original agent, let's go back one more place over here. Let's go and copy that link. All right. So I've link I've copied. Let me go and sign back into as Gabriel. Uh, come over here and let me go and paste it in the link. It first tries to open up my desktop one, which I'm going to go and cancel out from here. But this one use the web app instead. I'll go and click on that. It opens up another tab. And there you go. That is the agent. And just to be sure, yep, that is Gabriel. So Gabriel is able to even see agents that are shared with him. But let's go and take a look at the Finn situation. All right. So here is Finn's account. Just to make sure, see on the bottom left. Yep, that's Finn's account. And when Finn comes to his Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, uh, it looks almost the same, but pay more attention to the top right. All I see are the previous chats. I do not see the option to go ahead and get agents or even create agents. The one that we just saw Gabriel had access to. In addition, let's even try over here, all right? That link that I copied in from the Copilot, this is the link. I pasted over here. Click on enter. Again, it's trying to open it over here from the from the desktop. I'm going to go close over here. Click on the use the web app instead. And it makes an attempt. It's trying to do something, but it directly takes me back into my teams and I don't see the Copilot one. I don't see it like how Gabriel sees it. See, Gabriel over here actually sees the Lego Agent 007. Uh, however, Finn absolutely does not see it. 
this is the big takeaway from this video is when you block somebody from accessing Microsoft 365 Copilot agents, um, all they can do is use the chat as is and nothing else. Cannot accept anybody else's agent and they themselves cannot create an agent. Understood? Good. So now let me show you the behind the scenes settings to actually go and make all this happen. So go back into the Microsoft Admin Center, also known as Mac. And over here, when you click on Copilot, go to settings and scroll down a little bit and you see extensions. When you click on the extensions, this window opens up on the right side and this is how you go ahead and manage the access. Keep in mind, it says manage who can use Copilot, like period. Copilot with install apps and extensions from Microsoft 365. And over here, keep in mind, it says allow the following users access to Copilot agents. Access to agents that have been shared with them or they themselves cannot create agents. Now, by default, all users is the radio button that is selected. Now, for this example that I just shared with you, I have specific users and groups. And over there, I added users individually. You can add security groups over here as well. So in my case, I actually have a security group very specifically for Microsoft 365 Copilot users. You can go ahead and add that as well. It works both ways, all right? This is Azure AD security group, adding them individually or going ahead and adding a security group. But check this out right over here. You see Finn is not there. And this is why Finn is experiencing everything that I showed you about his access to Microsoft 365 Copilot because no access over here. Now you can go ahead and make the security change right over here. And then the second place to do that is right there. Go to integrate apps to manage install app and extensions. When you click over there, it takes you to this other setting place right inside the Mac place and it shows you this option. And this is where it gives me a tip. It says that this settings will only control Teams app, Outlook, Microsoft 365, and Microsoft Copilot. So everything we just, so everything we just experienced is actually mentioned over here as a tip. Uh, but what I was gonna show you is right here on the bottom. It's similar, see it's similar over here. So if I go to the left side, this is where we saw in the Copilot piece. But if you go to the right, this is where it's in the integrated apps. Exact same settings that you can both see and apply. Now, before you go and do this, which is actually go ahead and add users over here and also block some other users, you need to identify who they are because there might already be some users who are actually building and using agents. And if you go ahead and not add them over here in the list, they are going to have some problems and you really don't want that to happen. Now, so the tip that I'm going to share with you is actually go into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, click on Show All, and right over here under reports, click on usage. In this usage, you can actually see all the activity up to 180 days in the past and get these list of users over there. Click on Microsoft 365 Copilot, select usage, and right over here, you see that in the filters, go as far back as 180 days. And when you scroll down, this is the list of users that you can go and add to that security group and then put that security group over here or individually add that users. This is a safe way to do it so that you don't cause any heartache to existing users who are already using agents. Thought I'd share this important tip with you. Okay, so the big takeaway is that the Microsoft 365 Copilot chat, that cannot be blocked. That basic functionality will always be there. However, the ability to create agents or use agents, that is a all or none type of a permission access. What I mean is that if you block that, then users themselves cannot even create agents for their own use. That is an important thing that you need to keep in mind. And finally, go to the Mac, which is Microsoft Admin Center, take a look at that usage report, go all the way to like 180 days, get the list from there so that these existing users are not blocked and they don't experience any heartache. So now you have all the information that you need to go ahead and apply it in your company to slowly deploy Microsoft 365 Copilot in a controlled fashion. And as always, keep using Microsoft 365 Agents. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it? Because it's just two easy clicks for you, but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.